Marathon, what you need to know about road closures and when they will close and reopen. That's coming up in a little bit. For now, Paul, I'll send it over to you. And we're going to start off with a look at the bus stop forecast. Today is a forewarn alert day because of the potential of strong to severe storms this afternoon. If you're stressed out about that, well, that's why Dagny's here. She's our own little therapy dog. And actually, we have a therapy dog as our dog of the day in the next half hour. Temperatures are going to warm up quickly to the mid 80s. And with the increasing humidity, that's why we're talking about the potential of strong to severe storms this afternoon. A couple showers developing in West Tennessee this morning. This is the very leading edge of the warm, sticky air. It's going to be surging up across the mid state, but those showers are not likely to intensify this morning, just a sprinkle passing through very quickly. Futurecast does show that. Again, this is one version of one forecast model. This is not a guarantee of what the radar is going to look like. This is kind of the worst case scenario of what the radar could look like this afternoon with strong to severe storms already in the western half of the mid state by noon, but just really crossing over the Tennessee River at that point with the strongest storms developing later in the afternoon. So let's move it forward a couple of hours and you see I 40. It's kind of the dividing line farther south. You're likely to stay dry, much less see any severe weather farther northwest. As you go even a mile farther up I 24, you're going to run into a greater severe weather threat as we head through the afternoon. Metro Nashville is going to be on the dividing line, but any of these storms, if they develop, that's the question mark. Do they punch through the lid on the atmosphere? If they do, it's going to be off to the races with lots of warmth, mugginess, a very unstable air mass in place, and we're going to be watching for all types of severe weather. But that threat gets pushed a little farther to the north as we head through the evening. And that's a consistent part of the forecast. So wherever the storms initially develop, farther into the evening and tonight, they're going to get nudged farther to the north. Different forecast model shows a similar pattern with storms developing by midday into early afternoon. It's just maybe 40, 50 miles farther to the northwest. That's the big question mark. Exactly where does that develop? So this would keep Metro Nashville mostly in the clear, but a very close call with Southern Kentucky and Northwestern Middle Tennessee still the most under the gun for those strong to severe thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening. That's where there's an enhanced risk of severe weather. That's level three out of five. That's a big deal. Confidence though, low because we don't know exactly where those storms are going to pop up. If they develop just a little farther south and that has to be adjusted as well, this tapers off so quickly down to level two out of five for Metro Nashville to zero out of five for Southern Middle Tennessee and for the southeastern corner of the mid state as well. So a real rapid transition zone. Just plan on staying weather aware. Don't cancel anything outdoors later on today, but just be ready to adjust based on if that worst case scenario actually happens. Looking outside, a little bit of cloud cover out there this morning, but while temperatures are comfortable at the moment, they are going to warm up really quickly as we go through the day. We're in the low to mid 50s right now, even 49 degrees in Cookville. We'll be well into the 60s by 9 a.m., around 80 by noon, and into the mid 80s for those highs this afternoon, and still low 80s this evening outside of those thunderstorms. If you're running or spectating the marathon tomorrow, yeah, you need to be prepared for some stickiness. It's going to be warm and muggy. It does look dry, so I've removed that rain from the forecast, but temperatures are going to heat up to the low 80s already by late morning, close to 90 for highs tomorrow afternoon. Mid 80s again on Sunday and then a better chance of storms overall on Sunday. We're more confident it's going to rain, but the severe weather threat is looking a bit more borderline, so we'll keep an eye on that as we head through the weekend. All right, we're buckling up for mm -hmm. a crazy ride this weekend. Thanks, Paul.